Hello, and welcome to my guide on mulk fishing. Mulk fishing can be done on the Great Current, right here below Mount Karum, next to Kebos Lowlands and the Shazian Place. So, basically, what is Lake Mulk? Well, it's where you do falcon fishing. Basically, that's what it is. Right here on the fishing and the hunter spot. So, what exactly are the requirements for lake mulk fishing? Well, you need 43 fishing and 35 hunter to fish the blue gill, and this is the lowest level requirements to be able to do mulk fishing. The second highest ones for common tench are 56 fishing and 51 hunter, and then model eel is 73 fishing and 68 hunter, and lastly greater siren is 91 fishing and 87 hunter. The EXP rates for these fishes are, for Blue Gel, 11.5 Fishing XP and 16.5 Hunter XP. You can also gain Cooking Experience, which is 3.5 XP per fish you cut. The Common Tench is 10 XP, and the Model Deal is 20 XP, and the Greater Siren is 25 XP. The uh, Fishing rates per hour are 17k fishing XP, 5k cooking, 25k at level 43 fishing and 35 hunter. At 99 fishing and 99 hunter, the XP rates are 60k fishing, 15k cooking and 80k hunter. The fastest way of getting to Lake Malk is by using the Xerix Talisman and then going to the Xerix Lookout. Otherwise you can use the fairing code CIR which will take you right below the Mount Karum. You'll just run south to the Molk and then take the Bodhi to the lake. There's also the Shazian Lookout of course, which I will be going to because I find it a lot faster than running south to Molk from here. So uh, yeah, I'll be running to Xerix Lookout, which is faster in my opinion. I also read in the comments before that some of you want me to uh, use my camera north and not look around, so I'll try to remember that for uh, any video that I'll record in the future and uh, I agree it does look quite a bit messy uh, when you when I look around a lot um, so I apologize for that so uh, yeah well we're almost at the Bodhi I don't know if they named it after the streamer Bodhi or if it's just a joke um, however um, that's what they call it you run to the little dock uh, right over here next to uh, Shazian, west of it, uh, west of the bank, so it's not very far away. Um, and after you uh, get to the pier, uh, you can just click on the Bodhi and it will take you to Lake Molk. Uh, when you select the Lake Molk, it should be the first option on the top, so press 1 on your keyboard and go to Molk Island. And once at Molk Island, you can see that there are lots of worms on the ground. These king worms are on the ground, they're infinite. You can just take up how many you wish. I'd suggest that you take up around half an inventory, maybe less. Uh, around 8 to 10 would be enough in my opinion. And uh, that should be enough so you don't uh, uh, lose out on a lot of fish, you know, so you don't need to cut them. Um, and once you're here, just right click on the NPC, I'll read the angler, uh, you can talk to her and you can ask if you can have a go with her bird uh, or you can just right click on her and you can ask uh, get the bird, uh, which is a lot faster in my opinion. So now that we have the bird, you can see we have the glove on our hands and you can see that if you face your camera both to the east, west and south, you can see there's lots of uh, fishing spots. These fishing spots move around quite a bit and basically I'd recommend that you uh, go either to the west or east depending on uh, uh, what your preference is. Uh, in my opinion from doing this for an hour or two I've seen that there's a lot more fishing spots on the west and eastern side and the south side has lots, uh, a lot less fishing spots compared to the western and eastern side. However, you can see here that I'm filling up my inventory quite quick. The XP drop comes when the bird uh, retrieves the bait to me or the, bird, the fish. And uh, you can actually use the knife on these. Uh, and you can see that, well, 
of course when you use the knife on them it uses the entire inventory which is quite uh, nice actually if you like to afk you can however move the fish uh, or the knife down to the bottom of your inventory and you can actually click faster if you want uh, faster xp per hour i assume um, however uh, as you can see in my inventory i have lost uh, a bit of uh, king's worms i actually lost three of them since i started fishing and that's because the falcon it eats one every between three to six uh, catches it takes and eats one of these king's worms as a payment of some sort so uh, once you just run out of them go back and pick up more uh, it doesn't cost anything to do these types of uh, fishing or whatever um, I actually think this is pretty good XP per hour uh, since you do get XP in both fishing and hunter and it's not that bad at my level and I'm pretty average around at 87 hunter and 83 fishing so uh, yeah very nice actually so uh, and actually here when you're fishing you do get these uh, pearls that you can trade in for some uh, the fishing rods these are the exact same fishing rods that you can buy in the fishing shop. The only difference is that they're wearable. You can use them in your hand instead of taking up an inventory space. So um, if you like that and buy it, I guess it could look good as a, a cosmetic. I guess um, you can have the barbarian fishing rod or the regular fishing rods. So uh, yeah, um, bye.